Today we're going to make a Halloween wreath. Um, start off, make sure you have all of your props or whatever it is you're going to use. You don't want to get stuck later and be missing something. So today what we did was we used a wooden wreath. We've gotten a sign, a witch's hat, um, a little bit of mesh, and of course all your beautiful ribbons. Um, we're going to start off with a piece of the mesh. I've gone ahead and cut a little piece and I am going to attach it to the wreath. Um, you're going to use wire to do so and um, I'll attach that here in a second. But make sure you take your time in picking out your ribbon. You want to like a combination, different textures, maybe some polka dots, some stripes, velvets, um, just something that's really going to pop on your wreath. You want it to really make a statement. So attaching the mesh, all you need to do is take a small piece of wire, insert it underneath the, the wood wreath, a little piece of wood catching it, and then you would just tie it down. Twist it and then attach it and it ties down. So that's going to hold the mesh in place. You can also use hot glue, but you can. it's just as easy to tie it down with a wire. You have a little bit of dimension there before we start adding our ribbons. Okay. Now what you want to do to start is just cut a few strips of the ribbons you're going to use. You just keep them all about the same length. Um, decide which ones you want. We're going to go ahead and pinch them together. Take a small piece of wire like I did with this one. Take a small piece of wire and missing one of the ribbons here. Twist them together. And we're going to attach it. You can either attach it with the wire, hot glue it, however you like, onto the wreath. And you're going to do that a multiple of times. and then later we'll trim them up and you're going to create the fullness in the wreath. So you go ahead and make the strips and you start attaching them to the wreath and before long we will fill it completely. Okay, so we have filled in our little bunches and I'm on the last one so you kind of take a, you just eyeball it, take a look and see if there's something missing and for me there's a little hole right here. So I've decided to place this last little bunch right here. Again, I'm just going to slide it into the wreath, grab your wires, twist them so that all of your empty spaces, because we want a nice full wreath, are filled in. Now, we have our hot glue gun plugged in, and I'll take a look and see if anything feels loose or whatnot, and if it does, then you can just go back and put a little dobble of hot glue and just get it to be nice and full. We had a little hole here, we had a little problem here, it just something was missing. So basically all we did was grab a little two bunches of ribbon, put them together, wrap a wire and insert it and give that fullness. We went ahead and let the tails hang. Um, when we stand this up in a minute we'll see the final product. So our witch's hat needs to be glued down and then I think we're just about done. Again we will eyeball and see if there's anything missing. If we need to add um, some tails here we made like a little bow, put some tails. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. Um, the more ribbon the merrier. It gives it lots of color, lots of dimension, but it really is um, one's personal choice as to how much ribbon or what you want to put on your wreath. Um, we just like it really full, so um, yeah, there's no wrong way of doing it, and it's just up to you. Okay, so here's the finished product. We went ahead and hot glue the hat on, and we stood it up so we could get a better feel for it. And there were a couple of little holes that were missing, so we added a new little cluster here. Because obviously once you put the hat on, you may see some empty space that you may choose to add something. But that's why it's always good to have a little extra ribbon, a little extra mesh, and you can fill in. And like I said before, there is just absolutely no way that you can make a mistake. You just fill in wherever you feel a hole or wherever you'd like to see more depth. And here you go. Happy Halloween.